Hey guys, if you like this content, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys liked the video and subscribed to my channel. It helps uh, make these videos worth it going forward. What's up guys, Alcoin Sherpa here with a crypto market review. As always, this is not financial advice. I am not an expert to your own research. Okay, so today I want to review Ethereum, Link, and Solana. So let's uh, get right to it. What are we looking at on the ETH chart? This is ETH PTC on the one day. I think that this entire area, right around 1200 to to $1,000 or so, this is like a pretty strong demand area. Price chopped around here for about a month, if I recall correctly, from June all the way into July and consolidated, formed a solid base, and then went all the way up. Uh, this was with the ETH 2.0 narrative, if I recall correctly, and then it's retraced since then. Come back into that demand zone around uh, $1,000 and currently sitting on top of it. Now, before the FTX um, drama, obviously, there was there was another consolidation uh, event as well. Not event, just consolidation price action. I'll mark it with a different color. Um and price formed a solid base as well around this area around uh you know 1200 to 1400 before going up to 1600 i actually thought that it was going to go even higher all the way up to like 2k but then of course the ftx event happened price nuked to the demand zone uh, around a thousand dollars or so a little bit a little bit more sorry um eleven hundred dollars and is currently chopping around so where's price at right now? Price is currently below this SR level. You can see that price um, had a hard time breaking this level a few times. If you scroll, if you scroll in a little bit, this daily close set on November 10th. Price came back up to that again in November uh, 14th and 15th. Couldn't break above it, and still cannot currently break above that level. So there are a lot of um, this is a high volume uh, area, according to volume profile. This current area, this these generally act as strong SR levels in general. And in my opinion, this 1300-ish uh, uh, level is very strong. And we haven't seen a daily close above that since the dump. So what are we looking at overall? I would personally... Um, I still think it's very choppy and it's really going to be Bitcoin dependent. If Bitcoin goes to like the um, 16.6Ks or whatever, then I think that we're going to see this come back down a little bit, um, maybe to like the 1100s or so. That would be my overall kind of idea is just it retesting this demand zone once again around 1100 and chopping around until Bitcoin decides to make its next move wherever that could be i mean if bitcoin if that is just another if that is just another higher low for bitcoin uh, around 1660 i'm sorry sixteen thousand six hundred dollars or so then i think that we'll see this chop around and then break up probably tag around the seventeen hundred dollar mark and then probably come back down uh, it could go a little bit um lower than that around the 200 ema i would expect it something to look like this where we would see the 200 ema to come back down perhaps around 1500 dollars, and then price would hit that level that should be a pretty solid um shorting opportunity for ethereum if that happens so currently what i'm viewing as i said is really just bitcoin if it pulls back then i think this goes back to like the 1100 1200 dollar mark um or 1100 1150 area and then chop around for a little bit longer and then it's really going to depend on Bitcoin, uh, what Bitcoin does after that. Excuse me one sec. Okay. Uh, so those are some overall thoughts on Bitcoin. I'm sorry, Ethereum. If, if Ethereum does break down from here, uh, meaning if Bitcoin breaks down, then I think this just tests the lows again. This would go to like 1880s or something like that if, if Bitcoin just like makes new lows. I mean, this is going to go definitely to new lows if Bitcoin makes new lows. But overall, I think the chart still looks okay. It still looks pretty neutral to me if I'm being freaking honest with you. I don't really see any, I don't really see any trade setups personally. I, I just am dollar cost averaging into Ethereum. I made a buy yesterday and just going to just DCA and just throw it into a cold wallet and just, um, you know, hopefully a few years from now, it's just going to be several X from here, like five X or something, who knows. But for now, I think that this is still just, um, still very choppy, still very high 
Uh, overall high demand zone. And if you overall look at it from volume profile, you can also see that this entire area from pretty much a thousand dollars to thirteen to like this thirteen fifty area. This is all just a big support zone. Uh, I use that because I use volume profile here. You can see just lots and lots of volume transacted within this area. And, you know, this should be pretty reasonable support. But again, the the levels are pretty choppy to me and it's not super clear. So, you know, as I said, I, I am looking for Bitcoin to maybe pull back a little bit more. And, you know, I think that ETH would be a pretty solid entry around maybe like the, the 1200 area um, it is the VP or it's the um, point of control for volume profile. And maybe it chops around there and then maybe we see it go higher. That's kind of my overall prediction of what's going to happen, but too hard to say. Let's take a look at Link. Link is a coin that I am currently in. Uh, I'm just going to DCA into this one, if I'm being honest with you. I think that Link, the overall Link chart looks pretty reasonable. Like it's chopped around for 200 days and... Um, it's been in this range for a really long time and price there's like tons and tons of volume transacted here. And even if you zoom out a little bit, you can still see this overall area is like a very, very fat area, like lots and lots of volume transacted. Of course there's lots of volume transacted too around the $4 area that would be um, coming if Bitcoin made new lows. But overall, like I still think that this still looks really good. Um, very strong support is what I'm trying to say within this range. So I'm, I know this is a very inactive trade. So if you're an active trader, don't take this one. But I'm just taking this link um, trade or as more of like a long term kind of trade where I'm expecting it just to come up to like the 13s or so. And then I'll just dump it all at that point. Um, all the EMAs look pretty good, though, especially on the daily, which is something that we haven't really seen. All these EMAs are, are really looking nice on the daily and and I think that, yeah, this just chart looks pretty solid. So my plan is just a DCA from 550 all the way up to uh, current level and just like DCA all within this area and just just be patient with it. It's going to sit and really not going to be very active with this one. But I do believe that it looks pretty reasonable. Let's look at Solana. Everybody always asks me about Solana. I don't honestly know what's going to happen with regards to Solana. There's too much, um, there's too much, too much macro and too much uncertainty with this coin we don't know how what is going to happen with regards to sam we don't know what's going to happen with regards to um you know the ftx liquidations we don't know where that money is going to go overall the chart looks it looks pretty bad of course but i'm going to say that the bulk of the move is probably over um let's see what i just do anyways i think i just changed the Okay, so I think the bulk of the move is done in the short term, but I actually think that like nobody knows where this could actually end up, you know, call it six months from now, a year from now, who knows? Like it's, it's too hard to tell. And TA is not really going to help you all that much either. Um, I do believe that the bulk of the move is over with in the short term. Like this went like this got wrecked in the like 60, 70 percent over the last like, you know, that one week um, during the FTX FUD. And I think that Sam being gone is a net good for the network, but in the short to midterm, I mean, Sam, I think owned like what, like 10% of the network or something obscene, like pretty large amount. So given that a lot of the network could be dumped on the open market, nobody knows it's going to happen. I think there's just too much uncertainty with this. With that said, if you want to actively trade this one, then I think that the bulk of the move is done and like, if you wanted to, to like just DCA here from uh, maybe like $12, uh, you know, around this current range, that would be okay. From like 12 to 15, 14, I think the bulk of the move is probably done. It wouldn't surprise me at all to see this like chop around a little bit more um, and then go up to 17 or so. But again, don't really think this is going to go up to like the 20 or 30 dollar areas uh very very soon um 
a decent entry might be around eleven dollars because if Bitcoin dumps, then I expect this to also dump. So maybe like eleven fifty or something like that would be a decent area, and then you just see this come back up to the um, the highs around eighteen dollars. That that would be kind of my plan for for Solana. But overall, macro wise, it just looks terrible. Um, I don't like. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes to like five bucks eventually. And I do have a small Solana bag too that I just marked to zero. So um, maybe this goes goes to five bucks again. I, I I don't know. But you know this. It's really hard to say with regards to Solana. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much and enjoy yourselves uh, this weekend.